Okay, so we've been looking on the internet and we've been seeing a lot of things that are being said about the Zika. So we need to have a conversation about that. So despite the pandemic affecting the supply chain, a chip shortage and a smaller experience network, Zika has managed to deliver over 14,000 cars in five months. It has also opened 13 experience stores with plans to expand to over 300 across China by the end of this year, pandemic permitting. The Zika 001 will be going to Europe by the end of this year. I hear they've got lots of news planned. And this car we have here today is the twin motor long range. That means it's got a motor at the front and a motor at the rear. Uh, the battery pack is in the middle. Together, the two motors are pumping out 600 brake horsepower. All together, for your mountain road canyon carving, it's got 700 plus Newton meters of torque. Now, this is a family car with considerable punch. What are we talking about today? Why do we have to have this conversation? Even though we've delivered over 14,000 of these cars in China, I see that some people still have terrible, terrible takes based on internet science. Let us take you through some of the worst comments that we found. A knockoff Porsche Taycan. Of course it's Chinese. Does this look like a knockoff Taycan to anybody? Okay, comment two. Why would anyone consider this over a Tesla? I don't know. Uh, maybe it could be good quality, panel caps that aren't black holes or can be visible from space. Uh, the roof isn't going to fly off when you're going down the highway. The brakes work. It's not made in a tent. And it uses mobile eye for its autonomous driving systems. So at least you know it's reliable. Comment three. It looks like that Fiat from 15 years ago. Well, maybe the Fiat Coupe was super cool and iconic in the late 90s, early 2000s. And this will be iconic in the 20s. So fair comment. I mean, this is way better looking. Number four, Chinese Macan Audi ripoff. This doesn't look anything like an Audi or a Macan. Anything with four doors and four wheels could be an Audi to them. Comment number four. Geely's factories are literally blood and sweat factories. Everyone will be working 12 hours a day, six days a week, except leaders. Well, we've been there plenty of times on different visits. So yeah, blood and sweat of the Italian and German and Swiss robots that Geely employs to make this thing. Uh, if you go to a Geely factory in the 21st century, you're going to see people who are just walking around and checking on the robots that make these things uh, in a very clean environment. Number six, Geely lacks originality. I see a Honda Civic, a Model 3, and a Panamera. This guy must really have a kaleidoscopic vision because he, he's seeing everything at once. Seven, laughing my ass off. Look at this thing, it's hideous. Look at that grill and those wheels. When is it out? Not that I care. Well, you're asking a lot of questions, so obviously you care. I'm looking at this grill, or lack of a grill, and I'm seeing only Swedish clarity, Swedish minimalism, and hot wheels. I like it. Eight. So how is this comparable to the Model X? Because it's slower and smaller. Actually, the Long Range X and the Zika have the same 0 to 100 times of 3.8 seconds. Uh, only the plate is faster for now. Uh, you never know, maybe Zico will make this faster. We, we hear that there's a possibility they're thinking of it. So that's that. This is the Zico 001. And these are the mean comments. It's been very fun to read all of them. Tell us what you think of the 001 in the comment section. If you're lucky and you're in Europe, you might get this by the end of this year. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell button and we'll send you more content as soon as we can. Love you. Bye-bye. Kiss, kiss. Mwah.